Hi there. Today uh, I'm going to talk to you about how you can buy top quality rare stamps at low prices. Um, now, many collectors are far more focused on the price they pay than the quality they buy. So they're very price focused on getting stamps as cheap as possible. Now that's fine because filling spaces in a stamp album uh, to build a complete collection is, is a very rewarding activity and hobby in itself. But there's one thing you have to bear in mind is that when you're buying uh, poorer quality stamps, it's, it's not a good long-term investment. Now, when you come to sell your collection in the future, or, or, or what is more commonly the case uh, your descendants do, uh, they will find it holds little value. Now, the reason for that is that um, stamps, which I would call standard quality, which to the untrained eye look okay, um, and poor quality, which even to the untrained eye don't look very good at all, are um, common um, and they're easy to buy. And uh, because of that, they, they are not the same as a rare stamp. Um, a thing to bear in mind is that um, most dealers that trade in uh, the poor quality end of the market work on quite high margins. So, so you may think you're getting a good deal buying a stamp with, say, a standard Gibbons catalogue price of £50 and you, you buy that for £20. Um, but that dealer uh, probably paid somewhere in the region of £5 for that stamp and that's what you would expect to get uh, when you come to sell. Now, if you want to build a collection which has real value and can grow in value over the long term, you need to focus on buying high quality examples of rare stamps. And by high quality, that's a quality which is hard to find and therefore rare. Um, and it's that rarity which uh, creates the value at, at the end of the day. Now, the problem obviously is that uh, to get high quality uh, is, is difficult. And, and you generally need to pay much, much more. Now, the standard metric of quality, I would suggest, is the Stanley Gibbons catalogue values, um, which are in the printed catalogues, which you can uh, buy from Stanley Gibbons on their website. Now, those prices relate to high quality examples, and this should never be confused with the price you'd expect to pay for a standard, normal quality example. They are not the same thing at all. Um, so today, what I'm going to do is to show you how you can buy stamps of SG catalogue quality at prices much lower than those catalogue values. Now, that combination is, a, is how you make a shrewd purchase, which effectively enables you to enjoy collecting at the same time as building a tangible asset investment. Um, this is something that your descendants will find very pleasing in the future. Um, so we're currently running an auction on invaluable.com, which is uh, an online auction platform. And um, the items in the auction are all of very high quality. Most are SG catalog quality. Uh, some of them are even above SG catalog quality. Uh, and as such, hypothetically, should uh, sell for a premium above the SG catalogue uh, values. Now, this is the exciting part. The reserve prices in this auction are very low, uh, which means that you always have a chance of buying a top quality rare stamp at a very low artificial price. But for that to happen, you'd have to hope that the stamps that you're bidding on are not met by competition from another buyer, in which case that won't happen. But it's certainly worth having a go. In the rare occasions when you manage to do that, that is when you get the perfect combination of acquiring top quality rare stamps at great prices. Now, most of the stamps in this auction are key British stamp rarities. There's a sprinkling of uh, stamped from other countries. There's only 76 lots, which gives you an idea of just how exclusive this auction is. Uh, it is just an exclusive selection of high quality rarities only. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'd like to just uh, showcase just a few items that are uh, appearing in this auction. So I'll start off with one stamp. Um, this is the Britain's boldest stamp. 
it is the five pounds orange. It's a, a fantastic used example from 1882 with a Chester circular state, date stamp, lovely, crisp, well-centered, beautiful example. And um, I, I would grade this as a very fine example, certainly of Stanley Gibbs catalog quality. Now, this is listed in the Stanley Gibbs catalogs at a price of £3,500. I would point out that until fairly recently, it used to be valued at a price of £4,750, but it's come down in, in recent years. But because of the quality of this stamp, uh, no, it's certainly one I would be looking to place a bid on. Now, next up is a pair of a very famous British stamp, which is a Tupney Blue. And this um, is the, the pale shade variety, which is SG number six. Um, rare in, in a multiple is a pair in this quality with these four uh, margins and lovely crisp Maltese crosses. Uh, absolutely stunning example of this rare stamp. Now the SG catalog quality, uh, sorry, SG catalog price for a single example of, of that stamp is £1,000. Uh, and the starting bid required in the auction is just £500, so it's certainly worth having a go. Um, oh, hold on. Third up is uh, an embossed stamp from Queen Victoria's reign, an uh, overprinted specimen. Now, the overprint specimen means that this was used exclusively by the postal administrations to, uh, as a reference to spot any attempted forgeries. Now, the embossed stamps were a failure in that the printing proce process was very inefficient. They were all done manually one at a time. Uh, it's very common for uh, them to overlap and it's very rare to see any example with all four margins like this um, in such perfect condition, to be frank, it's perfect condition and even the gum on the back is all in place. An absolutely top quality example of that rarity. And um, that is what I would call a superb uh, example. And it comes with a, a certificate from the Royal Philatelic Society given independent authentication. The Standard Guinness catalogue value for that stamp is £11,000 uh, and the starting bid required is only £3,400. Next one up is an IR official. Uh, this is a... 1890 ultramarine IR official and IR officials were um, exclusively used um, by the Inland Revenue and Tax Collector Office. Now what's absolutely lovely about this is the, the used example with the circular day stamps from Birmingham uh, both right bang in the middle absolutely stunning uh, beautiful quality. Um, it is an aesthetic, I mean, this is what you call an aesthetically pleasing example. And the SG catalogue quality, uh, SG catalogue value for that stamp is £9,000 plus, uh, with a starting bid required of only uh, £2,000. So, now for the final, the big showpiece uh, of the auction, uh, it'll surprise you because it's not that exciting to look at, unfortunately. I'll put this close up so you can actually see it. But let me just explain what is so important about this. This is the 12 cent, uh, 1850 to 51 cotton reel from British Guiana. Now, if you had the one cent magenta version of that, you'd be sitting on the world's most valuable stamp, which was purchased by a billionaire shoe designer in 2014 at auction for $9.5 million. Now, most of these cotton reel stamps are in um, pretty poor condition. And this lovely square example is in much above average condition and it's very rare. It's a key rarity of the world. Uh, the Stanley Gibbons catalogue value of that stamp uh, is £45,000. And uh, all you need is a starting bid of £6,000. If you get anything like that price, uh, it would be in my opinion, an exceptional long-term investment. So what I suggest you do now is click on the link below to view the entire auction catalogue and you'll see all 77, uh, 76 lots, I should say. 
Uh, it is a very small auction, but as I said, it's a very exclusive auction and um, I strongly recommend that you take a look. I can't guarantee you'll get any of the items at low prices, but as I said, if you manage to achieve that, that is when you get the perfect combination. So um, thank you very much for watching um, and good luck in winning the lots that you are looking for in our auction. Thank you very much.